There was a coach who once said, you shoot with your hands, but you score with your feet. In this video, we are going to look at shooting footwork and break down how the best athletes all have the same footwork. So whether you're a player, coach, or trainer, this information is something that you need to know and understand to maximize your potential. Welcome to the film room. The best place for us to start is by looking at simple catch and shoot footwork and what is the right way to do it. And this is the only situation where being left or right handed impacts how you're supposed to shoot this shot. Everything else will be the exact same no matter which hand you shoot with. But because the majority of players are right handed, we'll look at that footwork first. When you go to shoot, the first option is to step into your shot, which means you are going to plant your left foot on the catch and step in with your right foot. If you were left handed, it would be the opposite. Plant with your right, step in with your left. Another option that's very similar would be to slide, and this typically gives you a little bit more rhythm. So on the flight of the ball, you're going to slide with it and step left right into your shot. So the most important thing is trying to get your non-dominant foot down first as your pivot foot. And the third way to do that would be to plant your foot right from the beginning. So this left-handed player has his right foot planted. So on the catch, all he has to do is step in with his left and he's ready to shoot. This is the foundation of your shot and it needs to be as natural is breathing because the rest of your shooting mechanics are going to build out of this. The key to becoming a great shooter is to develop consistency and speed. De'Aaron Fox takes two jump shots from the exact same spot and his footwork almost looks identical as if these were the same clips and it's because of the consistency of his feet. Now there is a footwork that's referred to as a hop that you're going to see right here in this clip and we're going to break this down at the end of the video so please make sure you stick around because it's important for you to understand the difference. So let's transition into shooting on the move. The most important thing is to understand where you are at relative to the the basket. If you are going straight to the rim, we want to have the same footwork that we had in our catch and shoot form, where you step first with your left or non-dominant foot, and then you step with your right or your dominant foot. And for the lefties, it would be the opposite. So if you are going straight towards the rim, you would want to start with your non-dominant foot, which is your right foot, and then finish by planting with your left. And the reason this footwork is so important is because it's going to create balance, and balance creates consistency consistency. So whether you're in the NBA or you're 12 years old, you play boys or girls basketball, or you're in Europe or the United States, this is the most consistent footwork. But you're not always going to be moving straight towards the basket, so now we need to talk about when you're moving left and right. Again, this is all relative to where the basket is, so if you're moving this direction, that is always moving to your right, and if you are moving the other direction, that is always being referred to as moving left, because again, it's all relative to where the basket is. But because we want consistency with our feet, we're going to use this thing that I refer to as a one-two step when we're moving laterally. So now instead of it being based on your dominant and non-dominant foot, it's based off of your inside foot and your outside foot. And ultimately the goal is always to be balanced no matter how fast or which direction you're moving. So whether you're left or right handed, if you are moving to the right, your inside foot is your left and your outside foot is your right. And the reason it doesn't matter which hand you shoot with is because this is based off your body finding balance as quickly as possible. So now you have a left-handed player moving the same direction, his inside foot is his left, his outside foot is his right. And even when he's on the other side of the court, as long as he's moving to his right relative to the basket, his inside foot is his left, his outside foot will be his right. Now the one thing that is impacted based on which hand you shoot with is how far you have to turn. So if you are right handed and you are moving to the left, you have to do what's called a half turn because your shooting shoulder is already facing the basket so you don't have that far to turn to be squared up. And for the lefties, moving to your right allows you to have this half turn where your shooting shoulder is already facing the basket. The full turn is much harder to do and be on balance when you shoot. So as this righty is moving to his right, he now has to make a full turn to get that shoulder all the way around facing the basket. And this is why most people will end up shooting jump shots moving to their non-dominant hand because there's less of a turn and it's an easier shot. 
So the way to develop and perfect this footwork is all based around timing. And because we want to have that inside outside footwork, we want our outside foot to be coming off the ground right as we catch the basketball so that we can step right into our inside outside footwork. So just pay attention to his feet as he's catching the ball. That outside foot or left foot is coming off the ground so he can get right into his rhythm. So now you can see it at full speed as Grady Dick from Kansas comes off of a flare and a pin down and gets right into that same footwork even though he's coming off of two different screens. And as we transition into shooting off the dribble, hopefully you understand by now that the footwork is going to be the same. So even while we're dribbling, if we're moving to our right, our inside foot would be our left and our outside foot would be our right. And just to reiterate, this is not impacted by whether you're a right or left-handed shooter. Moving to your left, you're always going to have your right foot as your inside foot and your left foot as your outside foot. Now this is without a doubt the most difficult footwork because you're trying to sync it up with your dribble. So let's start with a one bounce pull up. As you watch this in slow motion, you're going to see the shooter take three steps, right, left, right. This is the foundation of shooting off the bounce. You need to start here and be able to do it consistently off of one bounce and then you can develop it from there. And this footwork will work the exact same way if you're using a jab crossover out of the triple threat. So here you get the jab and as he crosses over, that right foot will be his inside foot and that left foot will end up being his outside foot. So now let's address this hop footwork that we talked about earlier. This is where you're going to land on both feet instead of doing that one two step and then going up into your shot. The two main issues with this footwork is the degree of difficulty and being on balance when you shoot. If you watch number three come off this down screen, notice that when he plants, both of his feet are pointed over towards the sideline and then he rotates in the middle of his shot to square up his shoulder. Now it's important to mention that Fletcher McGee was one of the best three point shooters in the country, but he is an exception, he's not the rule. This footwork is very difficult to do consistently and shoot it as well as he did. Now there are situations where it's beneficial to have this footwork, but you still need to make sure that you are balanced and square just like you would be if you did your one-two step. Now the place that you will notice this footwork being used the most is when players are moving away from the basket. So when somebody is coming off of a screen that takes them away from the basket, it is easier to land on two feet, but instead of jumping straight up and down, this footwork has a tendency to make you fade away from the basket, which leaves a lot of your shots short. So as you study shooters, you'll notice that the majority of the time when you see this footwork, it's when guys are moving away from the basket. Now I would never say that this footwork is obsolete and you should never hop into your shot. There are definitely situations where it's necessary, but this should be your secondary footwork. Your primary footwork should always be a one-two step. So here are your four key takeaways from this video. Start with your catch and shoot footwork first. Then make sure on the move, you're always focusing on inside, outside. Once you move to pull-ups off the bounce, start with one dribble before going further and always work on this stuff at game speed till you never have to think about your feet. Thanks for coming through. We'll see you next time in the film room.